All right, so we are at the sleepover to end all sleepovers and day at the aquarium. Uh, I've heard good things about both of these episodes, uh, so I'm excited. I don't know what happens or anything like that, uh, but I've heard good things about them. I know that people really like both these episodes. Uh, so yeah, so this is also the last episode of this little binge watch that I'm doing of uh, recording all these in bulk, uh, but I will be doing a reaction uh, to the Halloween special that will be coming up soon. Uh, so yeah, so until then, uh, this will be the last of Amphibia until that Halloween special, but uh, yeah, let's let's get into it because I'm so excited because I know we're probably going to leave on a cliffhanger because it's like the mid-season, you know, for season two, it's the mid-season finale essentially, uh, so I'm sure we're going to get left on some sort of cliffhanger. Uh, about like the calamity box or you know the king or something like that so super excited uh so let's get into it all right sleepover to end all sleepovers pretty sure mercy's gonna be in this episode oh. and boon choy oh, play have arrived so for your dungeons and dragons sure if anyone needs me i'll be in the kitchen drinking juice <laughs> uh -huh, sure juice it's the perfect way to spend the night before we hear from the king Oh god, I'm so nervous now. Oh god. Better make it a good one. These will be formative memories. Oh jeez. Who says there has to be just one queen? Everyone. That's sort of how the whole system works, Anne. <laughs> Pillow fight smoothies and tearing up the dance floor. Wow. And listen up, because this Got side won't repeat. Never ever go to sleep. No, you should go to sleep. Oh wow. Oh goodness. That armor is still so cool, though. Why? What has she ever done to you? Some castle rooms are off limits, namely mm -hmm. the basement. I'm sure we're gonna go check those out later. What? Those are like family portraits with probably like a ton. Oh my goodness. Oh god. You know, I'm an adult and I'm getting old, but I'm just like, no, none of this is acceptable. <laughs> that early? But I'm so tired. Go to sleep. No! You gotta Sasha's not there anymore! And Sasha's not a good friend, so don't follow her rules. Forever. Forever. Gosh. Well, I'm so. Let's do oh, this. <laughs> well, that is true. Uh, I hereby accept this scary uh, Oh no! Oh god! Even when Sasha's not here, she still has control over them. Oh god. I'm sorry. What was that book title? Little Heat in the Swamp. Oh, in the heat of the swamp. Oh boy. Who wants to go first? I vote Anne. What? Why? <laughs> Well, it, it was, was your, your idea. Yeah, it was your idea. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. She died. Marcy died. No more Marcy. Was that a Silence of the Lambs reference? Oh, god, what does this say? I still haven't decoded it. I'm doing these all in bulk, so I haven't had the chance to actually look back and decipher it. Keep out. Yeah, I'd probably keep out. What the heck? Some kind of oh. creepy crypt. That like royal family. So I guess no, you two are okay is, with going this in. This is like the book of like the royal family's like burial grounds. What are you doing? There's like being scared and then there's just being like respectful. Oh god, why are you walking in the water? Admit, oh god. Creepy. Oh god. Ha, is there gonna be oh, like a wait, ghost in the picture? Oh god, oh, it's like all the dead people. Uh, oh, it's like the gelatinous cube. It just like dissolves you once it traps you. Let's get out of here, Scoob! Roger that! Scoob! Oh, they can't go past mirrors? What the? How are these plants growing so well without sunlight? Marmar, we don't have time for this! Come on! Oh, painting? Someone really hated this painting. It's like, oh. Oh, I'm about to go look at that later. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm sure there's so much lore. Wait, back into my room? Whose room did this used to be that was connected to that? Take this, you overgrown gummy Take water. literature. Oh, well. Yeah, it's like mirrors, right? That's why they couldn't go past the mirrors. That's why they went underneath. Oh, okay. Quick, everyone, grab a mirror! Why are there so many mirrors? And just has never noticed she has leaves in her hair. <laughs> oh, well, we yep, they stayed up all, all night. night. Oh, yep. I still have oh, so many at what questions. expense? Who were those things? What yeah. to do with the basement? And Me? if those were really ghosts, is there actually an afterlife? 
Yeah, this is like, Marcy is me, basically, <laughs> with how I analyze cartoons. Oh, I just wish I didn't have to add my name to the book of Lewis. Why? Oh. Your names are in here a bunch of times. Yep. The only one brave enough to never get in the book was Sasha. Sasha? <sighs> Sasha's just such a complicated character. Because of you, <laughs> I barely get ready. <sighs> Jeez, I feel like this is gonna end badly. So badly. Oh no. Mirror! Mirror! Get the mirror! God, the backgrounds have been like Top notch as of late. Oh no, this is gonna go over terribly. Gems. Okay. Uh, God damn! I wanted to read it. Jeez. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Oh God, I'm gonna have to decipher all this. Each channel a different kind of energy, and once the stones are recharged, we'll have a way home. Steal my thunder, why don't you? But yes. So, like, is each temple gonna correspond to one of the girls? Based on the gem that they have, we really need right, to get green? back to work. Is that a brain? It would make sense if that would go to Marcy. If that's a brain, heart is with the blue, so that's Anne, and the pink had the fist, which I'm assuming is like strength, which makes sense for Sasha. Yeah, but um, it's like yeah. her family right now. Seriously, uh -huh. you would not believe the size of these tissues. Yeah, it'd be like a blanket to them. Anytime I was feeling gloomy back home, the aquarium would always make me feel better. I live near Chicago and. Chicago has this shed aquarium that's a pretty good aquarium. They've been very popular on social media as of late because they let their penguins just kind of walk around to the aquarium when it's empty. Oh, it's like a little the beaver bug! They're so Beaver cute. bugs? I thought I was gonna call them beaver beetles, but okay. Going through your old times, memories. Yeah. The season Do one memories. Come on, buddy. Oh god. Come here. You're, you're making a scene fine. in public. Everything's gonna be oh god, what's gonna make it like not peaceful, some horrible like the snake monster that attacked them in episode two. Oh no, just a kraken. All right, yeah, sure. Hey, look. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Just everything here is gonna remind them. That one looks like Domino two. Domino. <laughs> that cannibal couple from the inn. Oh my god. Godman. Grubhog. Zappapee. Veggie Robo. Oh, <laughs> Excuse me, folks. Okay. Have Nothing to, to see to here, leave. people. You're scaring the Fs. Anything even slightly resembling a stingray? Well, no, I don't think so, no. I was about to say, like, you didn't have any run-in with copious amounts of coral, but, you know, here you go. Oh, the snake that attacked them in episode, what, two? <laughs> I'm surprised that that stone floats. Again, I'm very impressed that that stone floats. Oh, gosh. Like a hydro pump. Yes, be free. <laughs> let us know when you get the music box, and we'll send someone to come get it. Thank you, kind. How will they let you know? It's gonna take forever for a letter. Now something's gonna happen. She's gonna go with them, or they're all. Mercy's gonna go with them. There's no way that they're gonna split them up for the other half of the season. No, Anne's gonna like go running after them, and then Marcy's gonna be like, "I'm gonna come with you." I'll just come pick you up on the way to the first oh. temple. Thanks, oh, okay. Marcy. You go oh, bye, Doris. <laughs> bye, Gator. Oh God, Anne, you have soggy What's socks. Up? Anne, I'm coming with you to Portland. Yeah. yeah. It's Bro, been really two whole I minutes. I have a proposition for you, Marcy, oh, yeah. and I think you'll find it very interesting. Yeah, uh -huh, the ominous music at the end there. Yeah, uh -huh, that guy's totally trustworthy. Oh boy. Oh jeez. I, I figured Anne at the very least wasn't gonna just sit back and they weren't gonna split up the Anne and the planters for the second half of a you know season two. Uh, that that'd be a lot. Um, I don't know if Marcy was gonna come with uh her or not but it makes sense that mercy would stay especially if there's some ulterior motives going on with the uh with the king uh it makes sense why she would end up staying back and behind but uh but yeah i'm glad that Anne's sticking with the planter is as they go back which i i are like i figured since the box was gonna be left there anyway um 
they were going to have to go back to Wartwood at some point to get it. Uh, and I'm sure there's going to be some whole misunderstanding between Hop Pop and Anne and, you know, Sprig and Polly about why he hid it, why he's been lying and all that stuff. I'm sure we'll get into all that in the in the second half. But uh, yeah, I mean, wow, what a what a first half of, of season two, especially like after we got to Newtopia and met Marcy and everything like that, like every single episode in uh, Newtopia was great. Absolutely loved it. Um, especially like the last uh, like few episodes. Um, I, I feel we're getting like more plot stuff. We're slowly getting introduced to like, the, you know, the old ancient like amphibia, you know, amphibia language and stuff like that. And that's kind of been woven in uh, really nicely, like in terms of lore, like, we have the Calamity Box, we have, you know, the Kingdom's Motives, we have, you know, Marcy now, we, like, got a little bit of a tease of Sasha, but, um, yeah, and, like, all the Newtopia stuff is really, really awesome and cool. I'm sad that we're leaving, uh, it for a bit, but I'm sure we'll be back at some point, but, uh, but yeah, no, man, what a, what a first half of season two. So excited for the next half, and I believe, uh, Matt said that it was going to come out in February or March, uh, for the other half, but we do have that Halloween special, uh, that is going to be coming up, uh, so, so yeah, but, yeah, man, what, what, what a great show. We've finally reached the end of our trip in Newtopia, and with it comes some major lore dumps and a foreboding cliffhanger. To start, we have the sleepover to end all sleepovers. And after going a few episodes without her, we finally get to see Marcy again. This time around, inviting Anne, Sprig, and Polly over for a sleepover, and this being Sprig and Polly's first sleepover ever, and for Anne and Marcy, this being the first sleepover without Sasha. I like that Marcy invited Sprig and Polly. This could have easily been an Anne and Marcy episode, but it shows Marcy's kind-hearted nature, and also how Sprig and Marcy's friendship specifically has improved since Sprig's initially cold demeanor towards her. Once the sleepover kicks off, the gang all agree that no one will fall asleep since that was the rule that Sasha had back in the human world. And this will be a reoccurring theme throughout the episode of Sasha, despite not being there, still having control over Anne and Marcy. We saw with Anne especially in Reunion how Sasha could really be a bad friend in ordering her around and manipulating her. So I don't think it's too far out of the question that she behaves similarly towards Marcy. And the fact that both Anne and Marcy are in agreement with staying awake all night, it reinforces that thought. So in order to stay up all night, the group goes around the castle causing various shenanigans. And this also shows that Marcy does have a mischievous side. I think between Sasha and Anne, Marcy is the more reserved of the group, but she'll still pull some pranks or cause a bit of trouble. This also makes Marcy going along with stealing the Calamity Box more in character. But man, Lady Olivia needs a break from all these kids, and thankfully she does get at least a little bit of a break because the gang goes down to the basement. As part of a dare, which was a tradition with Anne, Sasha, and Marcy's sleepovers, the group challenges each other to explore the basement without getting scared or else they have to put their names down in the Book of Losers, another tradition amongst the girls. And again, this shows Sasha's hold over Anne and Marcy, even though she isn't there. An interesting thing to point out is that the map of the castle that Anne looks at has the basement section torn off. Now this tells me that they haven't bothered to update the castle map since the basement has been closed off. And chances are the king offered Marcy this room and it was already furnished. Which also opens up the question of who this room belonged to before. Especially later in this episode when we see the group escape from the basement. So the basement section map was likely torn off after Marcy arrived to keep it a secret from her. But the gang heads down to the basement and finds that the hallways are lined with mirrors which according to Marcy could be used to ward off or summon malevolent spirits, so I'm sure this definitely won't come into play later. But continuing on, the gang arrives at a door. And I want to thank at Teriyaki Demon and Gab's Dino for sending me the deciphered symbols and messages. I knew since I was behind everyone else on Amphibia, someone likely beat me to the codes, so before I poured hours of time into deciphering, I figured I'd ask Twitter first, so thank you for saving me the time. The door says, shadow fish within, and the sign says, keep out. The gang presses onward and find that the door leads to a crypt, and based on the sizes of the coffins, they are closer in size to Andreas rather than Anne or Marcy. So these are likely other members of the royal family. They also discovered that there are ghost-like creatures, probably the shadow fish that were mentioned on the door. 
The group makes a break for it where there are more mirrors lining the hallways. The ghosts avoid the mirrors by phasing through the floor. While running, Marcy notes of the subterranean garden and how well it's growing, likely indicating that someone within the castle is tending to the garden despite the basement being closed off. After passing through the garden, Sprig then knows how odd it is that there is a torn picture. Now I'll probably make a separate video on the topic, but those in the picture are of a frog, newt, and toad. This could perhaps be a younger King Andreas. The other two characters are ones we have yet to meet. The toad appears to have horns, so it's not Captain Grime, but the frog is interesting. They appear to be female with pink skin and strawberry blondish hair. Based on the skin color and hair color, this is actually pretty close to Sprig. So this could be Sprig's mother or possibly an ancestor. We don't know when this picture was painted, but it could be from hundreds of years ago since we know that Andreas has been ruling for 1000. But this is definitely a fun and interesting plot thread to place in the middle of the episode. They continue through the passage and discover it leads to Marcy's room, again bringing up the question of who this room belonged to before and why it's connected to the basement. The ghosts are able to get into the bedroom because, you know, they're, they're ghosts. But the gang is able to discover that the mirrors turn the creatures physical. We also have a really nice joke here of Anne not realizing she had leaves in her hair literally the whole time. I always like jokes about character design. But the group is able to defeat the creatures and also stay up the whole night. However, all of them acknowledge that they were scared and put their name down in the Book of Losers. It's also revealed that Sasha never had to write her name down. Which really just adds to the whole idea that Sasha likes feeling superior and in charge by daring Marcy and Anne, probably with the knowledge that they'll fail and having them write down their names in the book. But despite all of this, Anne still wants to find Sasha to get her home, but also to make things right between the two. Which is nice to see that despite everything that has happened between the two of them, Anne still wants to fix things. But this leads us directly into our next episode where Anne, Marcy, and the planters have a meeting with the king about the Calamity Box. The symbols on the pages translate to wit, heart, and strength. These also correspond to Marcy, Anne, and Sasha, respectively. The other parts of the pages are not legible enough to decipher, but the next page says stars, and the passage reads this. Three stars, burning bright, come from beyond to expel the night. Should they fight or embrace the fall, their choice will determine all. And thank you again to Teriyaki Demon for helping me here. Similar to the torn picture from the previous episode, I'll probably do a video on this topic specifically, but this message indicates that Anne, Marcy, and Sasha will have to come together and make a decision to either fight or embrace a force that may bring about the destruction of Amphibia. There's the background in the opening that shows three figures who bear a resemblance to Anne, Marcy, and Sasha, fighting a giant frog or toad. So this is probably the knight that is being referred to in the passage. Andreas reveals that his ancestors used the box as a way to travel to other worlds, but in order for the girls to travel back to theirs, they have to recharge the gems, each being connected to a temple in Amphibia, the location of only the first being known, which is kind of weird considering that the last one is a volcano and there's literally a huge giant volcano in the end credits. But you can actually see all of the temples in the end credits, so this here will be our first stop. Now Anne wants to go back to Wartwood with the planters to get the box, but Marcy, knowing it's more logical, asks Anne to stay in Newtopia. So Anne and the planters aim to spend a day together for what could be the last time they see each other. They opt to go to the aquarium, but literally everything there reminds them of previous adventures and experiences they have had together, which doesn't make the prospect of saying goodbye any easier. They eventually go to the Stingray show, which is going well at first until a water snake is also introduced. And Hop Hop finally finds out that Sprig and Anne snuck out all the way back from episode two. I just like moments like this where they keep continuity and connect episodes to each other. The planters are able to save Sprig and fend off the Stingrays. And honestly, I agree with Hop Hop in saying that the trip to the aquarium was very fitting for the planter family. We see Anne and the planters say their goodbyes, but Marcy seeing how upset Anne is, suggests that Anne go back with them to get the box and Marcy will pick Anne up on the way to the first temple. Even though Marcy is the logical one, she is still kind-hearted and will put logic and reason aside to make Anne happy. Anne then races through Newtopia to catch up to the planters and passes some familiar and friendly faces along the way, which is nice to see. 
and Anne is able to meet up with the planters outside of the gates and tag along for the journey back. But we can't end on a happy note, we gotta end this episode with some suspense. We see Marcy still in the same spot, but King Andreas joins her, offering her a proposition. So we'll see what that proposition is in the second half of season two. Especially now with Matt Brawley revealing the remaining episode titles, the second half of season two will really be focusing more on these plot threads that have been set. But overall, I really enjoyed both of these episodes, probably my favorites along with Toadcatcher, Marcy at the Gates, and Hopping Mall. I love the more fun-filled episodes, but getting two episodes that have some lore, backstory, and plot is always exciting. I know the Halloween special is up next, but when season two resumes sometime in February or March, I am eagerly looking forward to see what adventures Anne and the Planters have going forward. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a fantastic day, and until next time, guys, take care.